All right, Tuesday stream time. Sorry, I'm covering. Oh, it's Haruna's. It's Haruna's voice actress here today. Takeishi, I think. So, yes, the two guests today are um, the MCs of the Daibangasai 2023, the Bouchard Card Game Festival 2023. And um, they are going to be the guests t telling us about. But, uh, welcome everyone to the Tuesday stream. Today, we have the almost final Messiah reveals because I know for a fact they're going to save Exilix Messiah for next week because uh, the Messiah Stride Exit releases next week. And so it'll be like the final reveal before the thing releases, like they did with Next Stage. But they're also going to be revealing stuff for the historic collection, the reprint set. So they're going to show some of the reprints that's, uh, and like upgrade packs, so it's going to be pretty exciting. They doubled all posters except for Zero! Oh! <laughs> anyway, next! Monthly Bushiroad, you guessed it, has another staple promo for another fan favorite deck! I'm so excited! That's so cool! I love when they do stable promos for like really really cool decks that everyone likes. That's like super awesome. You guessed it. This one is a cute girl and it's supporting for a cool deck. This one supports Avangarda and she says when your Avangarda Vanguard attacks for that turn she gets plus 5k. So when it restands that means she gets plus 10k. And then she says when she's placed on rear if this turn doesn't matter because the, 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 you, you should know the effect right now apparently anyway don't forget there's a new strategy presentation i literally asked when this is happening the other uh just a couple hours just an hour ago apparently it's the 21st of march for the vice part because this year is vice's 15 year anniversary just like it is Yu-Gi-Oh's quarter century anniversary uh quarter millennium quarter decade quarter quarter bajillion years dude Yu gi oh is five bajillion thousand twenty five years old and then on the 22nd of march will be the remaining bushroad games so that'll be vanguard and rebirth and shadowverse evolve oh so okay the day two stream will happen at 2 p.m anyway let me backtrack on the promo for those of you that don't know what the effect does yet so her second effect is when she's placed on rear if this turn one of your strategy cards um, has been placed from the order zone to the soul. You can soul last one and then search your deck or drop for a uh, different named uh, strategy card from the one that was put into your soul from your order zone this turn. Reveal it and edit your hand. And if you search your deck, you shuffle your deck. So uh, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. It helps you uh, find the right ones that you need. It's pretty cool. So yes. Damn, Zaksa. Zaksa challenges Masanori to a fight. Okay. All right. We're gonna see all the all the season two OGs, man. It's the oh, season two gang. Damn, this is. I feel like I already feel nostalgic for like the the overdress season two characters. Anime Grave Zorga time? Yeah, this is like... Does this mean we're getting Zorga support? <laughs> Zorga getting supported for the, the once, one time per year? Ooh, Graphart is collabing with Vanguard again! We haven't had this in a while. So, on the 25th of March... OD Season 2 is peak Vanguard anime? It is! It is! It really is! And I'm glad we're having this conversation. Because people refuse to watch OD Season 2. Because OD Season 1 was bad. So you get little... You have an acrylic art board. A character clear case, um, a big character mirror, acrylic stands. Oh, I want the I want the Tomari and the Mire and the Urara ones. They're cute. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Furato Vanga the Kuryukai. So you guys apparently like the Unica playmat, and they said, "Well, here's these cute boyfriends and the the furry playmat that you can win in a." Uh, in April. Oh yeah, so don't forget for Deluxe, there is the new Deluxe FRPR Pack 2023 with 47 types of cards and one of the types of cards you can get in the FRPR Pack is the FR Foil Triggers that they revealed last time. And so there's still more because obviously this doesn't add up to 47. This is just um, 8 times 4. 
So let's see the remaining cards. Ooh! These are effect triggers! These are effect triggers reprinted as the characters for each nation that they're from. But their names are treated as the originals. They are treated as... Their names are treated as the original triggers that they are. But they're ultimate art reprints. I need... I Okay. I need the Mide draws. 100%. The Danji fronts. 100%. The Tomari draws. 200%. The Urara crits. 100%. And if I can get the other stuff, that'll be cool too. But I'm not too fussed. <laughs> Damn! Damn! That's so cool! Are these tournament promos? These are WGP Deluxe promos. These are part of the same Deluxe FRPR packs as the other triggers. These are Cray Elemental? No! They are each different nations. You can see the nation logos in the bottom right. Three Dragon Empire, three Dark Saves, three Brankry, three Keter, and three Stoikeia. The Sam Crits? The Sam Crits look pretty good too. I will also be down for the Sam Crits too. I don't like, like, Sam is cool, but I haven't, like, there's still too much mystery around him. I feel like I'm gonna like him a lot as the season progresses, but there's still so much, like, mystery around Sam that I don't really know. Same for, same for Sophie as well. Sophie and a lot of the new characters from, like, this season of World Dress, I'm still like, who are you, you know? So for this year's Bushro Kargen Festival, they have over 6,000 seats secured for participants and players. This is the biggest Bushiro card game festival of all time. They didn't just get the the West three and four halls of Tokyo Big Sight. They also got the South three and four halls as well. So this, like, the, each of these halls is massive. The Grand Blue Fantasy Festival um, that I went to in December was held in here too, and it was uh, in January rather. It, I, it, it it was held in here too, and it was it, like you literally. It would take like 15 minutes to walk from one side to the other. It is insanely huge just for one haul. And it's going to be double that. Like, oh my god. <laughs> Judge Nightmare, yeah, it's like, Judge! I'll be there in 10 minutes. <laughs> Yo, if you go to the event... Now this is based. If you go to the Vanguard event, or if you go, if you just show up, if you show up, you get all of these promos. If you show up to the event, just walk in through the door, you get all of this. You get a Dragon Tree marker with a hot stamp on it. You get a Quick Shield with a hot stamp on it. You get a Vice promo, which is probably worth a million dollars because every Vice promo is worth a million dollars, apparently. You get Chikawa for Vice Blau. Everyone loves Chikawa. And you get Rebirth. Moving on, and then you get and you have Mimi and Coco with a little hot stamp on it for Shadowverse. Exciting, very exciting. Good stuff. Wishy JP, which Ian events had half of this. Worlds for Vanguard had quite a lot actually. You got some pretty cool promos just for entering worlds. Um, so they definitely treated worlds this year like a festival. Um, for English Vanguard, so. Who are Mimi and Coco in Shadowverse? So there's this character in the Sign Games universe called Cerberus, and she has Mimi and Coco on her hands. They're her, they're her like little like dogs, basically. The sales for Bushiro Card Game Festival tickets now go on sale. If you want to buy just a regular ticket, it's just a thousand one hundred yen. If you buy it through Chiketopia, which is like convenience store system, and if you buy it through the TCG station in Akihabara, it's one thousand two hundred and ten yen. But if you want an exclusive playmat together with your entry ticket, you can choose one of the four Bushard games and you get yourself an exclusive playmat together with your ticket. So if you want the Vanguard one, you get the three protagonists. You want the Vice one, you get the the Vice Lady. I guess. If you want the Rebirth one. You probably should get a different one. And if you want the Shadow Verse Evolve one, you get Juno in a maid outfit. I think the Shadow Verse one is probably one of the best ones. Um, but I'll probably have to get the Vanguard one anyway. <laughs> Sorry, I don't. I don't have any ill will towards Rebirth. <laughs> I just. I'm just. I'm just toying around. I'm just. Just. Just being a little. Being a little silly. Being a little. A little quirky. You know. Damn. It's like. My left arm. 
was lost. My right leg was lost. But it's like, uh, even though that warrior thought that all, like, you know, the, the colors of the world started to fade and, like, he felt like it was all coming to an end, there was still, like, a ray of hope coming from the moon of Brant for, like, the, the future that he had to protect. What the f Oh my god! What is this? Forget about the depressing Chronojet lore! Nation Drip! Alright everyone, book your tickets to Japan. You cannot miss this one. Oh my god, look at these! Dragon Empire, Dark States, Brankate, Keter, Stokia, and Lyrical. Beautiful sleeves and deck storage boxes. And that's not it. Of course. Ooh, the Uniformers Playmat. Uniformers Playmat as well as the Daivangatai key visual sleeves, deck box, and storage box. Will be sold at the official store. We're never getting these. They do sell these on the Bushroad online store after the event is done. Here we go. Messiah time, baby. So, this first reveal is... Astro Rabe Dragon. Rear Circle continues GB2. It's a great 3 with 13k power. During your turn, if there is any card that is locked on any player's field, this unit gets plus 10k power. And when this card is discarded for the cost of stride, you draw one. It is the Barifu for Messiahs. Barif Messiah. Oh, you're right, it's not a Link Choker, it's actually... I mean, yeah, it's a Brandgate card, I guess, technically. It's not an encounter. <laughs> it's technically not an encounter. It's technically a Brandgate card, but you're technically not locking or getting GB2 in anything but Messiahs. <laughs> Alright, up next. Habik Claw. Harbik Claw. Guardian Circle. If you have a Messiah named Vanguard, this unit gets plus 5k shield. When your and then rear circle auto, when your other unit is unlocked, you can put this unit to the soul from rear guard circle. So you might be thinking, oh, what, what is everyone freaking out in chat about? There was a certain buyout of a certain card called Mikadi that like uh, generated its soul, and um. The, uh, printed a card that makes soul. So, uh... Is this a Cosmo Wreath cat? Yeah, grew up over the 3,000 years. <laughs> GG, bro. I guess you can build chaos again. GG, bro. Yeah, so they're saying like, well, Mikani provides two souls, so you technically get two draws out of it. This guy works as an offensive rear guard that you can use to uh, boost or attack with. And then at the end of the turn when your unit unlocks, uh, you can put it to soul. Or after it's done boosting and your rear guard unlocks mid battle phase, you can put it to soul. And it's tanky shield. Yo, what is this? Volko? Volko grade 2? 10 million effects? Alright. Karuta Krain, Grade 2. Dude, this art is insane. Holy shit. During your turn, if any player has a locked card, this unit gets plus 5k power. And then Rear Circle Auto. At the end of the battle, this unit attacked. Uh, if you have an Alter Ego Messiah Crest, you can retire this unit to look at the top three cards of your deck and choose a unit card that is a equal to or lower grade than your Vanguard and call it as a locked card to one of your empty Rearguard Circles and put the remaining cards in the bottom of your deck in any order. We're going to Dusk Blade, Lady Fence, or Gravity Well? Yeah, they're going kind of ham on the uh, non... the non-encounters. <laughs> five, five attacks? Deck thin? Best deck? This is Ideal Ego Messiah? Yeah, right? It's not GB restricted either. You do have to have the crest, of course, so, it's, you know, but you have that by turn two already, you have it on turn one. 
So yeah, it's like it attacks, you pop it, look at top three, and then call onto the circle that it was on. So that way you have five attacks confirmed for Messiah, because you already had the uh, attack from the um, Arrester, I think that was the name of it. The Arrester Messiah from last week was already generating you a fourth attack, so this gets you the fifth attack. Sadly, of course, it's like, if you see three triggers off the top, it's like, kind of sad, but not even GB restricted, that's right. And it's pretty good. All right, next... Oh, Destiny Dealer, of course. Damn, that looks really good. That's a beautiful new art. So, of course, when you would ditch this for Stride, you can treat it as a grade 3. And in hand, if you have an Alter Ego Messiah Crest, you can discard this card, and search your deck or drop for a Messiah named grade 3, reveal it, add it to your hand, and if you search your deck, you have to shuffle your deck. Let's go. Looks beautiful. I love the little, like, the, the purple flames all over it. Looks nice. Burn up. So I guess all of these stride deck sets will get like a body food clone and a destiny dealer slash smoge gear. Not smoge gear, steam breath. Wise Strix. Yeah, I guess if if you turn this into a into a raid raptor, I wouldn't be too surprised. Yeah, it looks more like a raid raptor than a black wing. All right, and next we have sacrifice messiah, and you can see the counter charge logo already. All right, GV1 Rearguard Circle, it's a grade one. At the end of the battle, it boosted if you have a messiah named Vanguard. You can lock this unit to choose your Vanguard and give it plus 5k power. And then if you have no face-up damage, you counter charge one. Already better than Jiva. That's right. Damn, he actually looks even cooler now. He has like the little like mouth open. Pretty cool. This is so nerfed. It is, it is. It's not as insane as it was. Um it's not as insane as the original card, but I think the original might be too insane <laughs> for early D era. <laughs> I guess it's not early, we're already in the year two of the era. I guess if you're careful enough, you can get two CCs out of it. So like if you swing with it when you have no CB, you CC, and then you CB for your stride, and unlock this, and then you boost with it again and CC again. So, I think it's good. Like, you can still CC 2 in a turn with this. And since it locks itself, that also means you get to unlock it and not just multi-attack, but boost with it again too, so... It's just as good as uh, before. Alright, so now upcoming is Setenus! Uh, lots of card information today. We still have the reprint information later, don't forget, there's still reprint information. It is the... Ben Dream Collab cards! So, these are generic triggers. They're all criticals. Alright, so this is for Pop and Party. So all the collab cards are going to be in triple rare foiling. Very nice. The art looks beautiful, too. They're triple rare foil. You can see the triple rare foil is written right here. The beautiful... The art's are really nice. I'm not, like, the biggest Poppin' Party fan. I... I do like Bang Dream, but I don't, you know... Um... I'm not too big on Poppin' Party themselves. Oh, so these will not be, like... Sto they just said they're not, like, stoppity, where there's, like, one in each pack, the way that the tokens were. These will be scattered... Oh, my God! Tomoe! Damn! All right, this is my shit. This is this is what I care about. Rathlos, thanks for the 30 months, dude. Appreciate it. Yes. Yes. Afterglow. Afterglow supremacy. <laughs> oh, this is like washi tsukau. It's like I use <laughs> like washi. It's also like such a funny way to refer to yourself. There's still more. Oh, dude, no, I want to look at the Afterglow ones more. They're all so pretty. Oh, of course, Roselia. Everyone's favorite band. <laughs> oh, and this is like, please use Mishiru in Stoikea. Mishiru is the bear. Well, uh, I think the... Oh, Risa. Risa is great. Big Risa love. Big Risa love. I like Risa a lot. And Tomoe. Tomoe and Risa are my favorites. Reza Suilen, everyone's actual favorite band. Together with, um... Morphonika, of course. So, if you're curious, this is the character that made Amanesu famous. This is her... This is her her baby. This is Amanesu's baby. But Morphonika is, like, full of, like, famous people. Like, she's... She's, what, Ayame? The violinist? 
God, the the Morphonica ones are really pretty. The Rass ones are pretty good too. I actually like Razor Soothing Fell a lot, but like I feel like they put in a lot of effort into the Morphonica ones. Alright, so we're gonna get a part of the reprint and a part of the update reprint effects. Here we go. Alright, so the cards that will be printed in the set are Striders, G Guardians, Support Cards, and some Grade 3 units that are not necessarily VRs. So initially they were like, VRs will be reprinted, but there are some important Grade 3 units that are not VRs that they will also reprint. Okay, so there'll be one Strider and one G Guardian from each clan reprinted. So yeah, they're saying like, we confirmed that VRs were reprinted last time, but now we're also adding on that cards that are not necessarily VRs that are really good will also be reprinted. Great, some great threes. So yeah, they're saying like, morning timer, there might be some people that are like super happy about this because it's like an old ancient PR. Uh, did this PR ever release in English? And the update reprints are, ooh, okay. So let's start with the trigger. The trigger is the most obvious one. The trigger is, of course, the trigger power has been lifted to 10k power, you can see right here, and the shield power has been raised to 15k. And the bonus effect that they have is, when this card is damage checked, you draw a card, they added the Vanguard Zero buff. Premium players, you should have played Vanguard Zero, you would have known what's coming. Vanguard Zero was, turns out it was a beta test for premium this whole time. And then the stride, let's take a look at the stride. Oh my god, I heard it measuring it for so I didn't even read it yet! Alright, 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 alright. This says... Okay, first effect of the new Gablade is... G-Zone. If your Vanguard is a Grade 3... alt mile, the original alt mile. If... So, like, if, if your Vanguard is the original alt mile, And if you have not received an imaginary gift force yet, this... Uh, fight... You can discard cards from your hand equal to grade 3 or greater to stride this card in your vanguard circle, and then you flip a card with the same name as this unit face up in your G zone to receive two imaginary gift forces. And then, continuous vanguard circle, you. Oh, for this unit's on hit ability, this effect will take place even if it does not hit. And then finally, the original effect is when this unit's attack hits a vanguard, you can search a deck for grade 2 or greater and call it to rear and shuffle your deck. What the fuck? <laughs> Damn. So they are literally gonna reprint all the original grade 3s of the, like, the, all the original striders will be reprinted. And if you don't, if you already have these old cards, like the original copies of them, you can use them as they are. They'll be just errata. So instead of being random storage in, in your house, just sitting away rotting forever, they will now in, have cool new epic effects. Oh yeah, so Manotaku is saying, some of you may have missed it, but when you damage check these critical triggers, you will draw a card. You will draw a card. I, I'm assuming they will all get this like like marker generating effect so that basically all the old striders so like we're thinking like the original night rose things like the original asha the original the original chrono jet just got printed <laughs> the original chrono jet just got printed so if you buy the chrono jet stride deck set you can then buy this product and start playing premium isn't that great same for messiah alter ego messiah Damn, I hate G Nostalgia, but damn, this is cool. You see, everyone loves it. Alright, so... Here are... Oh god, they actually listed every single stride! Every single stri every single stride is listed! So we have... Gablade for Oracle, it's Kirin, Uriel, Grim Recruiter, Campbell, Dion, Mahmoud, um... Gedatsurakan, Arc Raider. Arc Raider! Tachikaze mentioned! Oh my god! Utsumitsu Torain. Oh my god, it's the it's the it's the Demon Slayer Midnight Train. Zoras. Oh my god. Oh my god, we gotta finish the list, bro. Then we got 
Big Ten, X Rogue, Judgment Messiah, Flash Bruce, oh Bruce is back for spikes, Kiss Kill Lila, Griefold for uh, Pale Moon, Lost Age Dragon for Gear Chronicle, Bandit Rum for Grand Blue, Somni for Bermuda, Tidal Boar Dragon for Aqua Force, Jaggy Devil for Mega Colony, Wisdom, Heller Dragon for Great Nature, and Arborea for Neo Nectar. And next week, the news will include X Lex Messiah. They're going to show off X Lex Messiah. And then for set 10, they're going to show off the cards that were shown in the anime. So we're going to see probably Zorga and Orphus support because they say there will also be a new order card. Will it be a Zorga order card or an Orphus card or will it be both? We will see. And news for set 11. Do we even know what set 11 is? We know nothing about it, right? So we're gonna reveal the first bit of news. The first bit of news for set 11. I guess we're gonna get the visual. We don't even know what set 11 looks like. So we're gonna... Because technically this stream will happen right before we enter March. And set 10 releases one month after that. So they kind of have to reveal <laughs> what set 11 is. Yeah, they're all gonna show the set cover. I wonder what it's gonna be. What are your expectations? Because technically, it, it, it's not going to be the anime set, I think, right? Really important addendum to this, by the way. These stride skills allow you to stride even if your opponent's not on grade 3. Which means that all of these freaking ride down decks plaguing the premium format are finally potentially with an asterisk, like a big old asterisk, might be screwed because basically what the text says is that it's an act skill it's an act skill so these bypass regular stride rules like effect strides um bypass stride rules if you complete the quest basically the condition so for these ones it's like act in g-zone if you've angered is the grade three specific like strider alt mile the original alt mile and in this fight you have not gotten any imaginary gifts yet you can discard you know three equaling to three or more from your hand you know the regular stride cost and stride this card from face down on vanguard circle and then you may pay the cost of flipping a unit with the same name as this unit face up and get two imaginary gift forces so this literally lets you stride and get forces from turn three onwards if you run these things thank you to derek dow by the way for pointing this out in chat i did not catch on to this at first what's ride down so what in premium in order to stride both players have to be on grade three which you will learn in standard literally this friday and otherwise uh you have to have spent one turn on grade three prior so basically if at the start of your turn you are grade three you may stride even if your opponent's not on grade three and basically there are some decks in the premium meta that abuse this where essentially um you have decks like steam maiden and highlander where they will ride a grade three generate a force marker and then do a bunch of shenanigans like plus and multi-attack and whatever and then they will use an effect to ride a different card. So Steam Maidens can ride into a grade four from the main deck mid main phase, and so can Highlander. Highlander can also ride into uh, a grade four from, you know, they can ride into the Highlander uh, cards from their current Vanguard uh, through the use of Reindeer, for example. And then if you basically Soul Blast out the grade three that you were originally on, at the end of the turn, you go down to something else in your soul. So you go down to a grade two. And so that way you were able to spend a grade three turn generating markers and like drawing cards and like doing what your deck wants to do. But your opponent now is like, well, if I ride grade three, I cannot stride because my opponent isn't on grade three. And they were not like, you know, I, I haven't spent a turn on grade three, so I can't stride either. And if you want to get a detailed breakdown of what riding down is, we well, are going to be lucky to see that the Fuzzy Paradox VG Paradox website has a mechanical explanation of writing down written by Cardweep. So this breaks down what write down is, why write down is oppressive, anti write down strategies. This whole this whole article is a very good read, so you should check it out. And this will explain to you what writing down is. So it's very cool. Like this is actually super super sick. 
Um, and this addition of the new strides actually combats this. So yeah, you can stride going first against decks that don't do it. You can stride going first and basically just, uh, you know, you can go into these strides with relatively mid effects. Like, sure, they don't need to hit anymore. So, you know, in the case of DP, it's like, if you hit or don't hit, you draw a card, retire one. It's like, <laughs> okay, bro. And then like for Nova's it's like Vic 10, it's like, okay, at the end of the battle, you stand a rear guard, like, <laughs> okay. Um, but of course you get GB2, which is pretty nice. You just have to run the original card. That's crazy. I am, um, I'm very impressed. I'm very impressed with this. Oh, what a packed, what a freaking packed Tuesday stream. That was a lot of information today. Dear God, it's like an hour of, hour of goodness today. That was like nonstop. Non-stop train, dude. That's crazy. God damn.